So in this screencast, I'm going to talk about how to save a fully evolved uh, joint minimal surface that is also transformed. So this is kind of a follow-up to the previous video concerning this, and if you haven't seen it, I'd go back to that one and uh, review it because it's, it has more information and uh, kind of get you oriented to what's going on here. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, go take a look at it now. And also, I'll point out that you want to be using um, CFIT software that's 11 or 1.101 or above, um, which has the uh, feature integrated into it that we're going to talk about. So we can pull one of Ken Brackey's uh, FE files that has to do with the joint minimal surfaces. And I'm going to use this one. And just use the go go command to uh, evolve the surface and transform it. Um, and then what we can do is we can use one of the predefined um, transformations. Uh, I'm going to pick show cube. I could do show rhombic um, or whatever I, uh, whatever I like, but I'll do show cube in this case. And so it'll transform, repeat that surface. And so this is the fully evolved and transformed uh, configuration. So the question now is, is how do we export this entire surface rather than just a uh, uh, portion of it like we showed before. Um, we do is we go up to file and then save as DMP file. And so now what uh, CFIT will ask you is uh, do you want to save the data normally as, as a normal DMP file or uh, as a multiplicated surface? And uh, we want to do it as a surface. So as the multiplicated surface using uh, Ken Brackey's CMD file. And we're going to go to no. So it'll do that for us. And we'll just save it in the same directory called a joint uh, surface. Let's save. Then what we do is we can open it up. So we go down and we choose DMP files. Open it back up. Now this is a different definition than before. And now what we can do is we can export as an STL. So it's a two-step process. You save as a DMP file that's multiplicated and then you uh, open it back up and then export as an STL. So that's, that's what we just did here. And then we can open it up in uh, SOLIDWORKS. So as it's opened it up, um, you will see the full surface. So this is the full surface. And this works with uh, the other um, FE files that Bracky provides on his website. Um, and you can export them in the uh, same way and do whatever you uh, do whatever you like with the final uh, output. So with that, um, I'll end the screencast here. And if you have any questions, let us know.